Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Paul Radio Man 2094 here, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Vivitar Go Cam. Now you can pick this up on Amazon or get it at Walmart. I'll throw the links up in the description. The prices are thirty bucks. I'll have to keep you guys posted on the Amazon one here in a second. So I know I got this from Walmart for thirty bucks. So all right, so let's take a look at this real quick. Now on the other note, I've used this all day. I did my first vlog, so stay tuned for that. So here's the Vivitar, and then here's your camera. And then uh, and it's action cam, dash cam, digital cam, di camcorder. It's waterproof, dustproof, freeze-proof, shockproof. So this is basically like, like a cheap version of the, what's called, GoPro camera. And then... Uh, Here's everything that comes in, but we'll go through all this. And it works on all those, but I edited the video on my laptop, so it works on Windows 10 as well. So, And then and then you could put an SD card in here too. So yeah, and then you got 12 megapixels on the camera, 2.0 inch screen. It's high definition, so... Alright, so I put everything back in the box for dramatic effects, so let's just get right into it. And then, on the other note, I've used this camera to do my real review on my Nokia 3.1 Plus today. So, uh, yeah, this camera was pretty good. So, and then stay tuned on the end of the video, we'll uh, do some vlogs and stuff. So, let's uh, unbox this and see what it is. Alright, so, starting off... Here's your camera. Okay, put that to the side for a second. And then, uh, my Nokia box is falling. Shh. All right. Of course, this is going to be one of the bicycle mounts right here. So you could put this under your bike if you wanted. And then here's the other one, of course. And of course, you got your Velcro straps for you to put on your bicycle helmet. You put this camera on your bicycle helmet and rock out like a GoPro. And yeah, you get like four different straps in here. And then, and then marker USB charging cable. So this camera is basically rechargeable. So that's pretty good to see. And then here's a little mount for your camera, of course leave that right there and of course here's your car mount as a suction cup so you could stick it right on your uh, windshield and rock out record videos live and stuff okay put that right there and see what else and so here's and of course your usual books I definitely know usual books and shit blah 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 all right, throw those right there. And let's see. And that's pretty much it. Now for the camera itself. Let's power this on real quick and let's go through all the modes. Let me wipe this down real fast. So here's the front of your camera. Of course, you got your... This lens is 12 megapixels. And you got like a... What was it? A cardigan fill on this part. And then this is your uh, little case that comes with it, little silicone case. And then here's your mount for your tripod. And then watch, let me turn this off real quick and let me get this out of the case real fast. And we'll go through all the specs here in a second. Okay. All right, so here's the camera without the case though. All right, this button is to turn it on. And you got your menu and then your OK button. But we'll, I'll walk you all. I'll walk you through all this here in a moment. Sorry. All right, and then let's open this. Now, just a reminder: this you don't have to use AA batteries for this. So you got your SD card right here, and you got your micro USB port right here. So this is what I like to see: is just a rechargeable camera. But this is going to be my new video camera for YouTube and for vlogging and stuff. But I'm definitely feeling that material, though. It's pretty tough. And let's put back on the little uh, gel. 
just make sure I have it on the right way. Let me just wipe down the camera real fast. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to put this in real fast. And this is flexible too. So you could easily put this on when you're rocking out too. Shock resistance and stuff like it says on the box. So that's definitely what I like to see on a camera, of course. All right, let me get one more wipe down for the screen. And then wipe down the lens real fast. All right, that's how good it's going to get. All right, let's turn this on real quick. Vivitar, we make fun. All right, so here it is. It's on video. And what you could do. If you don't want it in this mode, you could switch it around and have it on this side. It's basically for your dash in your car and stuff. And then let's go over to the modes real quick. All right, so all right, so resolution is 12, 12 megapixels, so that's pretty good. And then oh, let me get back to the menu. And then quality. Oh, this is. Ah, hold up. Okay, so movies, movie size, HD. Watch, let me go back real fast. And HD 1280, 720, and then 640 and 480 right here. All right, let me just get back. This camera's going to take me time to get used to, but it is what it is. Let's go back right here. And you got your metering. Let's uh, take a look at this real quick. You got center, spot, and multi. But you get the idea. All right, let's go back. And you got white balance. Let's take a look at this. So it starts off with auto. So you could have this automatically. Then you got... Oh, watch, let me go back up here. All right, so your effect. Oop. God damn it. All right, so you got your quality, of course. I forgot to cover this one real fast. So let's take a look at this one. All right, so you got super fine, fine, and normal. Let's go back. And you got metering but i'll do this one more time why not center multi and spot okay let's go back then you got white balance let's take a look at this you got daylight cloudy and fluorescent your standard camera features and then you got exposure so you could basically zoom in and stuff i guess i need some time with this camera but yeah, let's, and then see what else. Self timer. Oh, yeah. back. No, oh, yeah, I get it. I get it. No file, no file. Okay, so. All right. This camera's kind of trolling. There we go. Okay, and of course we went through all these already, so, and then your effect and your date stamp. Let's take a look at this one real fast. And then you got your date and date and time. So this is what I'm going to probably do. Okay, and then take it over to the, oh, take it over to the next one here. Okay, and then here's this one right here. You got auto review, power frequency, power save, date and time, and language. And let me just make sure I got all this. Stomach's all growling. It is what it is. And then you got your format. And you can reset all if you wanted. 
Let me just press no real fast. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Now for the camera itself. I've used this camera all day to do some vlogging, and I did my unboxing video with the Nokia 3.1 Plus. Definitely a good camera, and it even fits in the palm of my hand, of course. And you can lay it on a tripod, of course. Definitely a nice little camera for 30 bucks, though. Vivitar is one of the top uh, companies of cameras and stuff. Either that or Kodak or Canon. But, alright, now let's take a look at my vlog, like a sneak preview of my vlog real quick. Alright, stand by. Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Paul Radio Man 2094 here. Back to you with another video. And today we're going to do like a vlog with the Vivitar Go Cam. So enjoy. Look, this is the neighborhood of Bolen. As we all know. Oh yeah. Just passing through the neighborhood. As you see. Definitely pretty nice. Definitely pretty nice. Okay, take a look at these beautiful houses. Amazing area to live. Those are just the dogs barking. But take a look at these beautiful houses. Definitely nice. Definitely nice. And here's the sun. Yeah, this house right here is amazing. There we go. This used to be the old Walmart, by the way. Oh yeah, here's the gas station on your left. Speedway. coming up all right so here comes me uh, going towards the crosswalk now all hyped up speedway coming up right here crosswalk Now, over here, we got a good burger joint right here. Big Mike's.
right, so overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this a definite 100%. This will be my new video camera for YouTube, and then to do my vlogs, I'll be doing all the, all the details on this camera and stuff. So, yeah. But anyways, Vivitar GoCam, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Oh, yeah. Coming up on the channel this week. Now, I already know that I covered the Nokia 3.1 Plus real review. And then next on the list, I got Skullcandy Ink Plus Active Wireless. That'll be next to do. And I got the Nokia 3.1 Pluses, all the Zizzo cases. So that means I'm going to be doing the Zizzo Bolt Series case, my usual one that I do. Static Series, and then Ion Series. And then the Anchor Power Bank, the Quick Charge 3.0 one. We're going to put that to the test on my Nokia 3.1 Plus because it's got Quick Charge 3.0. And then here in the future, I'm going to be looking towards doing two more. I'm going to be doing the Fitbit Versa 2 unboxing and first impressions and then live setup. And then I got Beat Solo EP and Beat Solo 3 wireless unboxings. So it's going to be a double unboxing. So I'm going to use the Beats EP for the laptop, of course. You'll see my laptop in the video. And then I got the Beat Solo 3 unboxing. Well, this is basically, you get my point though, it's going to be all together. And then I'll use my phone in the video, of course, to do my usual testings and whatnot. And of course, more gameplays. Because I got a few, what was it? I got a few uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, videos uploaded already. I got uh, some of the Kingdom Hearts 3 videos and then I did a couple from the prequels. But there's more to come on that one. And then... I'm playing the Kingdom Hearts Remind DLC, so there's going to be videos on that later on. But, anyways, guys, on that note, I'm Paul Radio Man 2094. I'm out. We'll see you guys in the next video.